What's up guys, this is Zach Hample coming to you from SunTrust Park in Atlanta, my 22nd Major League Baseball Stadium of the season. Gorgeous weather today, and there are two big things that I'm already looking forward to. First of all, the Dodgers are in town, so this is going to be my first time seeing Manny Machado in his new uniform. And secondly, it's a Watch With Zach game today, so in just a few minutes, I'm going to be meeting up with a group of six. I heard that the gates are already open, it's more than three and a half hours before a first pitch, so that's pretty cool. Let's get inside. All right, here we go inside SunTrust Park into the Chop House restaurant, which is open so early today, like I mentioned, more than three hours before first pitch. Braves pitchers out on the field, warming up, playing catch, and when they finished, I got a toss-up from a long distance from Peter Moylan, so it feels good to get on the board. And let me introduce you to the crew right here. This is Ellie, this is Gaines, Layton, and Beckett right here celebrating a belated birthday. So I'm gonna give you this ball that I got earlier. You can keep that one. We're all gonna just try to catch as many balls as we possibly can. Hopefully the Braves will be starting BP soon. Nick Markakis, Freddie Freeman, Ozzie Albies. There are some great left-handed hitters that might be putting some balls out this way. So get ready for it. <laughs> crowded today in the chop house, but we still managed to get a few baseballs, and they were all tossed up by the Braves, who were very generous today. After my first one from Peter Moylan, Chuck Hernandez, one of the coaches on the Braves, tossed one toward Beckett, fell short, landed in the grass, I plucked that out for him, and Gaines came up big with a couple of toss-ups as well, including one from Johnny Venters, who was on the Braves years ago, they recently reacquired him. Then we headed over to left field, just in time to see the Braves jogging off the field, but it looks like the Dodgers are out now, they're starting to get loose, and they can really hit, so hoping for a lot of home runs really soon. was so crowded today that I decided that we should all head over to right field for the rest of Dodgers BP after that first group. I knew that Cody Bellinger would be up there as well as some other really strong lefties like Max Muncy, but they didn't hit anything out this way. There were some balls that were hit to right center, Justin Turner was up there at the end, he hit a few balls to left field, but pretty much everything went into the first few rows there where it was so packed, it was like the home run derby, half a dozen gloves reaching up for everything. So I had all this space out here in the chop house where I have caught balls in the past. Carlos Gonzalez when the Rockies were here launched some balls out this way and made some nice catches, but today it just wasn't happening for us. So we combined for four baseballs, which is still pretty good given how big this crowd is. And for right now, we are starving. There's a really cool food item that I've shown before that we're gonna go check out. Seeing the Dodgers is like seeing an all-star team. So many big name players. You got Matt Kemp having a resurgence this year. Nice to see him signing autographs. Puig out on the field doing his thing. And of course Manny Machado 
with that swagger wearing his brand new uniform. He almost feels like he should be an LA guy. He's having a great year and poised to cash in as a free agent after this season. And then Cody Bellinger, nice to see him as well. And my man Beckett got a toss up from him in the last row of seats down there close to the field. So that's five baseballs total for our group today. Right now it's the third inning, the Dodgers are up one to nothing, and my guys have not been to this stadium before, so we're just gonna wander around, check out the sights, see what we can get into. It's a final here in Atlanta. The Dodgers with some clutch hitting tonight. They beat the Braves by the score of five to one. And I feel like the story of the day was how crowded it was here at the stadium and also how much wandering we did. It was great to get up to the upper deck, check out the stadium from there, look at this place from all different angles, all different spots. It really is a gorgeous place. Now late in the game, we ended up right down near the third base dugout and got some great looks at the players from up close. Matt Kemp was hanging out on the railing. Manny Machado with his cool haircut, making so many different faces looking into the crowd. Looks like he's fitting in very well with his new team. And he picked up a couple of hits today also. Now, let's talk about baseballs. We combined to get eight baseballs today overall, which is great once again for how crowded this place was. Now, personally, I got two of them. Beckett got one, and Gaines was like the ball hawk MVP of the day. He got five. There were a few toss-ups during the game, including a foul ball that ended up in the dugout that got tossed up. I don't think we got shots of all of them. Then home plate umpire Jeff Kellogg hooked him up at the end. So really impressive overall. The two for me bring my lifetime total to 10,504. And for all you guys watching, if you're interested in doing a Watch With Zach game, check the description for this video. I'll throw a link there to some FAQs that explains how it works. So check that out before you get in touch. Gotta give a shout out to Heather for organizing this whole day and making it happen. And what else? Good times, man. Your first time ever at SunTrust Park? Yeah. Hey, eight balls, first visit here. Can't argue with that. Anyway, I'll be back here for one more game after this. So look for that video. And thanks for watching this one.